And we're back. Yeah, they are uh, still screaming. We left the game for like 20 minutes and... Yeah, it's still going. I thought they tired themselves out. Yeah, I don't know what... It's definitely coming from the hole. Yeah, it is. See, it seems to clearly be the hole, but... I don't know. Where are we looking to go there? You can't jump down there. Yeah, I don't think it was, like... I think it was, like, a... Like, cubby hole. I don't think we even went down there with the other characters. So yeah. I'm gonna try this door. I guess there's an enemy around me. It, like, showed the lady again. The lady. Yeah, the... up. Oh. Yeah, that lady. The spooky lady. Can you... I don't know. I think it was black and white. Yeah, this time it's black and white, so I think. So I don't know what was up with that scene before where he was like, I can't run now. Because it totally looked like he could have run. Mm -hmm. Um, we have to go back to the third floor now? Do you remember what floor the painting room was on? I think it was the, uh... Pretty, pretty sure it was the right floor. Up, oh, okay, there she is again. She's really following me now. We were sort of talking about in the intermission while the TV was screaming. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we were talking a lot about liminal spaces and like yeah, interesting like outsider moments or like I don't know. And I, I feel like a lot of people like feel uncomfortable by liminal spaces. I think Super Eye Patch will did a video on them which if anyone hasn't ever watched his stuff it's like long form and is actually really awesome yeah i like his stuff cool. generally and he's got like this this irish accent that's like very enticing and the way he speaks yeah. is just so eloquent like enthralled with that irish yeah. accent that i can't do and some of them are yeah, some of them are kind of like sillier topics, but other ones. Yeah, and it'll, it'll flip back and forth yeah. between this mystique kind of voice and then like a a more rushing, quick kind of. But either way, he did a video on liminal spaces in it, and I think like it made me think that like, do most people feel feel weirded out by liminal spaces? Because I think that's a thing, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, and I mean like sometimes, and it depends. Uh, there's two. I tend to... So what makes something a liminal space? I'm actually not 100% well, sure on that definition. A liminal space is like a place where things don't linger. Um, let me look up an actual definition. Uh, okay. But like, it's the idea of like... But there's something... When, when people talk about liminal spaces specifically, they're usually talking more about like... Not necessarily just that it's an intermediate place, but it's like a place in between things... Like, like, like a hallway is liminal. You're not really supposed to be just yeah. standing in the hallway. You're usually in there because you're going from one place to another. Or like, I think like in Persona, the Velvet Room tries to sort of capture liminal spaces a little bit in the whole like mind in a world between dream and reality, mind and matter. How the one the one was a car, the one was an elevator. Oh, uh, yeah. Like they're always moving. I think it tr that tries to get that around. Um, let me look up an exact definition for you. Liminal. But there's like something usually. Um, okay, occupying a position at or on both sides of a boundary or threshold. Transitional or initial stage of a process. So it's like. Yeah, it's like a transitory place. I think a lot about like when I was. Um, I took some classes on architecture mm -hmm. when I was in college and we talked about like. In theaters like in the lobbies of theaters how like right where you enter the doors usually the ceiling is lower because that's supposed to create a psychological effect that tells out. people to keep moving not to just stand there and block the entrance so you'll naturally move further into the lobby i don't know if i've noticed that 
<laughs> I've been in a lot of theaters of, of late. I don't know if I've noticed that, though. Um, but yeah, no, I get what you mean. It's like yeah. a funnel. Yeah. So, like, the ceiling is higher further in, and even though it's not like that actually gives you more room, you're like, oh, there's more room over there. Let me go in. Yeah. Just, like, subconsciously. Or, like, like places of waiting are liminal. Yeah. Like, waiting room. And it's got, like, this... Yeah, I guess just, like, naturally when there's, like, a transition, we want to, like, finish it. Like, that's, like, a form of unresolved something that we want to resolve by completing the transition. Yeah. So I can see why for some people that's potentially disturbing. But I, like, for some reason, I, like, really like that. And we were sort of talking about, like, there's... Um, Everyone has blossomed. Okay. Um, it, it also sort of like for me like has like very like I, I get like drifter kind of vibes too which I also kind of like in the sense that like um, we were talking about how for work I like constantly and I'm like an outsider in places and like yeah because you're traveling to places and yeah. yeah and so the example we were talking about earlier was that like I don't think I said this on this video too because I don't know I can never remember what I've talked about um, but there was a time where I had to go to Ohio for work which isn't that far away because we live in Pennsylvania but I still we I flew, flew because like it's still too, it's yeah. for for work I'm not going to drive that far I'm going to take a plane but um, I flew into Cleveland and like landed at like 9 p.m. in a blizzard <laughs> and like the, like a like a big like I don't know like two feet of snow or okay. a snowstorm or something like that maybe not that big but like at least like a foot over yeah night, like significant such that like businesses and stuff were actually affected yeah and it was late at night and no one was on the road except like a couple trucks going way too fast in lanes that were completely unplowed that had full on layers of snow which was not cool um but like I get and it's like a two and a half hour ish drive I think so I get into like it was uh I think Mansfield Ohio okay and like I've, like, I mean, like, it's the internet, so of course I know where I am, but, like, I, I have, like, in terms of, like, my sensory, rec like, sensory recognition, yeah. I have no clue where I am it's or just what's all around here, it's and, all new, yeah. and it's dark, and no one's there, and half of the, like, traffic lights aren't working, because it's, like, a, well, not, not working, but they're, like, put in, like, the traffic lights, because of the snowstorm, aren't going, they're, like, in that, like, like, the, where they change to be, like, one side's flashing red and one side's yeah. flashing yellow, instead of, like, an actual stoplight because of the snow and it's late and whatever and like i find like the only place to get food at because i'm hungry because i you know, just drove and whatever yeah. is like an applebee's and like it's like one in the morning and i just like go into this applebee's and there's like no there's like yeah. three people inside and like one person working the bar and that's it and it's just like quiet and austere and like but, like, at the same time, like, it's creepy, but, like, I don't know. I, like, kind of love that stuff. Yeah. I mean, I think... I think we don't get enough, like, quiet in our modern lives. And I think a lot of I'm us... Like people. Yeah. And not just people, but that we're, like, not, like, doing something that, like... Yeah, it's like we can never just, like, be in a place. We're always yeah. trying to, like either be moving. do a task or entertain ourselves or something and yeah I didn't actually mean to go down here I'm actually not sure where I'm supposed to go we're in a liminal space now yeah this is feeling very liminal to me okay I don't think I want to go back into here I think the Stanley parable is like a good 
Oh, yeah. About liminal spaces and... Like, I don't feel like just, like, naturally liminal spaces bother me or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Um... But I do think horror can really easily... Like, that could be a good ingredient of horror. Mm -hmm. Uncertainty and... Yeah. Unknown. You don't know how long you're going to be there. You don't know when it's going to end. Long hallways, yeah. etc. Um, for Allie, one of her big ones... This isn't, like, a thing she's afraid of, but... Um, at the deli at Wawa... I say at the deli for those of you around the country or in other countries that don't know what a Wawa is. Um, Wawa is technically, I think I saw, it's America's favorite convenience store, despite being in, like, five states. Yeah. Um, it's probably my favorite convenience store. They have them in Florida now. Um, Florida's everything, though. Anyway. Yeah. That, like, there's just not really a particular place to, like, stand and wait for your food to be ready. No, so, like, that drives Allie crazy after we've ordered that, like, usually she'll, like, take my keys and go wait in the car. Really? While I wait for the food a lot, because, like, huh. it feels like you're always in somebody's way. Because, like, there's not a place, any place you stand while you're waiting for your food. You're in front of, like, some of the shelves. That's interesting. Um, for me, it's any kind of phone store. I hate phone stores, especially the Apple store. Oh, huh. Um, I'm like never in <clears throat> phone stores. I'm and they, I am there as little as possible, only if I'm having a problem with my phone. But what's worse, the worst part about the Apple store to me is I feel like it should be a liminal space, it's and it's not. like refusing to be one. Yeah, because they don't have lines there; they just like. You have to trust the employees to, like, mentally track that you're there and get to you when it's your turn. And in the meanwhile, they want you to, like, play with all their gadgets so that you'll, like, consider buying something else. But, like, I don't want to do that. I just want to whine I, or a cue. I want to know how much longer I'm waiting. And you don't get that. I, like, play with all their gadgets. But, like, Apple has, like, four products. And they're all, like, almost the same every year. And, like, I say this as someone who technically... I don't know if I owns the only apple product i actually own is an apple watch but as someone who has an iphone and ipad and then before i yeah. mentioned apple watch like they're all like they're all more or less like the same every year like some stuff changes but it's not like yeah android where there's a lot of crazy differences or there's a lot of different things you can do there's like the couple different flavors so it baffles me that they're just like oh yeah people can try out just like what yeah else is there to try? i mean i guess that's more for like <laughs> for like the older people yeah to be like oh wow this laptop is so easy and all the icons are so big and clean yeah i don't really like the apple store i don't know why there's something about it that i don't really like either i'm like i'm like i've like probably been in one only once or twice ever. It, it makes my blood boil it's also like open and there's like nowhere to check out and like it's like yeah it's like it's not like a normal store it's yeah. just like an open concept thing all the chairs usually are like just like kind of like spherical things that you sit on like stools you mean yeah but like they're made spherical to like be edgy oh that's weird the last time i was at one they had like those kind of like nouveau I mean, a lot of phone places things. are like that because I used to before I used to sell phones at Best Buy and like there were like a couple places to sit at like a high counter, but everything else was like open and like everyone was you sort of stood there, and we had a couple seats, but yeah, which people would get mad when we sat there because <laughs> like, yeah they're like why are you sitting I'm like well. Sometimes I need to sit. Yeah. That was a weird experience. That was a weird, I don't know. That was a fun, ex that was, a, as I say with retail, a fun experience while it lasted because it was kind of fun. But I, I had a very different retail experience than a lot of people. Um, I guess I didn't technically do whatever it wanted me to do up here. Huh. 
Okay, maybe I just need to trust the ghost. It showed Yo Hybra going into the other building. So I got a back. call on there, so I guess it is over there that I'm supposed to be. Okay. Um, we'll hit the spooky sometime. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I like... I don't know. I live for that, like, kind of, like, like awkward, aus like, austere. That's, like, how I... I like the word austere I really a like, lot. I really like the word austere, and it, like, it also, like, encapsulates, like, what I like about that kind of genre. It isn't that it's necessarily scary or unnerving. It's just, like, off. Stuff is off. It's weird. It's intriguing. There's a lot of, like, mystery and unknown. And, like, that, to me, is very appealing. So, like, especially, like, areas like Silent Hill and stuff like that, where, like, you yeah. have, like, a realistic place that you're exploring, and it's familiar, but not. Well, it's a lot of those, like, like, you were talking about, like, the long hallways last episode being, like, oh, this hallway's too long, and it's too, like, like, there is something off-putting about that. I remember when I was, like, younger and I played this game for the first time, that long hallway area, like, was, like, the scariest part of the game for me. I don't know why, but it was just like the fact that this, they're just these constant long hallways and multiple of them was disorienting. And the colors and just like you could see, you could see really far. Um, it's really funny because in horror games, I tend to get like, I, I'm not really like agoraphobic normally, but in like in horror situations, I yeah. can get agoraphobic because like like, in games, and also, like, if I'm in a situation where I'm in, like, it's completely pitch black, and I'm in a huge room, I like that way less than being in, like, a normal size room. Like yeah. Because it's just blackness, and you have no idea what's there. You can't see. You don't know what could be standing there. We ended up. Yeah, I didn't... I should have trusted the ghosts more. I, I broke the one rule of this game, and I didn't trust the ghosts to lead me in the right direction. Yeah. I just, like, felt so much like it was going to send us back to the painting room, but then it didn't. But... We have to give it to Ruka, and where... Well, she was down in the, um... Oh, that's true! So that's probably where we're going, right? Because we need to give it to her. You're so right. So we need to go meet her. So we got to go down, down. So I do down, need to take that left. The sea. Dun, 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 dun. Something about you dun, can dun, hang dun. with SpongeBob and his snail Gary. What, what episode is that? Down, from? down, down. That's the house party episode, I think. Oh, yeah, it's good. We'll have some fun. You and me together in the underwater sun. Underwater sun. I like mentioned to my sister who has like a two year old. I think she's trying to get me. I was like, oh, no, no, like, I was like, oh, you're not getting into SpongeBob. And she's like, oh, God, no. And I was like, you better explain yourself real fast. It's like, oh, yeah, it's too annoying. And I'm like, you better explain yourself real fast. Now. My niece, who's five years old, just started getting into SpongeBob of that being like, what, once what she she's wants like, to play on Netflix. Once she's like set five or seven or whatever, I'm going to introduce her to it regardless if my sister wants her to or not. I'm like, no, you're going to grow up on this. I also, once she gets a little older, I want to, like, introduce her to Steven Universe. Because I feel like that's also, like... Steven Universe is a great show. I feel like that's a better thing to introduce a kid to than Spongebob, to be honest. Definitely more, like, educational, yeah, but... Yeah, in terms of, like, making someone, like, trying to give someone... Morals. An, uh, like, a, yeah. like a, an impressionable person of an environment. Yeah. That's definitely more... <laughs> Spongebob definitely never set out to, like, give morals... You could argue there are, like, morals intrinsic in it, but... I don't know, that would be a pretty hard... That would be a pretty hard argument. <laughs> like how his mask is like, eh. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, double. 
It like wouldn't let me go into into battle mode. Look how much damage second. you did just there. Like they're getting massacred. Also, yeah, so I guess the chain is just doing a lot of shots in a row. Is there a chain? I didn't see it. Um, on the score, it, it, it's like pointing out the chain. Because I think we got the we I'm, got the one yeah. power energy bonus. I guess these guys might just have more health to compensate, maybe? Here, you'll see. So this doesn't have it, but then... Um, okay, if I can actually get multiple on screen again. It's <laughs> bad. No, he's not. Where'd he go? You're gonna have to get out of the mode to let your stuff recharge, by the way. You're oh, out. yeah, I forgot about that mechanic. There, chain two. I see. Chain three. Look up, like, the amount of points you get, though, is insane. Like, that's plenty to buy, like, super high end film. Let it. Okay. Unless it's like adding points together and you got like 7,000 from the ghost. Maybe. I hope not. I'd love to get more points. Yeah, the kids are just like so out of it. So we like. Gave that to her in the past? Did we receive it in the past? Yo. Or we... <laughs> Yo, where are you going? Can't be. Oh. Are we gonna call the elevator? Yeah. Oh my god, it could be any slower. But it was just really cute, my niece watching Spongebob and saying, yeah. Oh, Mr. Krabs, all he cares about is money. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and she, she likes to, now she likes to say, I'm ready, I'm ready, oh, I'm man. ready. Nice. She watching newer episodes of the original ones? No, the original, because she just like started from the like Netflix, oh. like whole pile of episodes. So I think she's been watching it from the beginning. You have to use the right thing correctly. Okay, so... I mean, Ghost ran this way, so it must be this way. Now, but now there's two ways. Um, I guess I'll look in here first because it's a dead end. <laughs> she doesn't seem to have an opinion on Squidward yet. No. Yeah. Cause it just, I find it funny that like I don't know if I what, have a full opinion on Squidward Little kids tend to like of course like Squidward's like the least interesting character but a lot of adults are like oh yeah Squidward I feel like you start to identify with him more I feel like I don't know I don't I, I feel like it depends because I don't really feel like I identify with Squidward um at all um I don't know. There's some people who are just like, oh yeah, life, work, it sucks, blah blah blah. And I'm like, I just don't. I don't like really. Yeah. Have that same experience. So, um, like, I I can see where some people could, but for me, it never really was a. Uh... And I think that's like, if there is a moral kind of to the show there is like a moral like logic kind of to the show at least that like like bad things generally happen to Squidward in the show because he's like getting annoyed with Spongebob until you get the black lemonade yeah or ink lemonade whatever it's called 
And the, the later episodes where it's just Squidward torture porn. Yeah, they they did definitely Do lose dirty. the plot eventually. And I, th- I think they stopped understanding why stuff happening to Squidward was funny. I think one of my favorite episodes with Squidward was when he goes to like the, the homeowner, the HOA place. Where there's all the other octopuses and they yeah. all do the same thing. And Avenger, he's just like, he's miserable. I hate with it. this. Yeah. And then he like ruins it with a reef blower. I don't really think it's he's ruining it. It's just he realizes well, he like disrupts the yeah. He but disrupts I, the piece. But I don't think he upset. I don't think in the end he was like upset. I think he would never want to go back. At least no, no old Squidward would have never would have been like, oh yeah, no, I don't want to go back there. Because, like, the times where, like, something... Like, the episodes where Squidward, like, quote-unquote, wins. Like, at the end of the episode, he is happy. Yeah. Are, like, very few and far between. But there's, like, the Band Geeks episode, and it's usually ones where he, like, gets along with Spongebob. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, a very simple, you know, moral logic of getting along and... You know, don't be like Squidward. Be more like SpongeBob. Enjoy life. Be happy. Usually, when he's a dick to SpongeBob, that's when he gets punished. Like in the Magic Cons, where he's just like, yeah. Being a, I mean, realistically, he's acting kind of reasonable for some parts, but he's still being. Yeah, a... he's right to not. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, Gonna he got stab. stabbed. <laughs> Why, though? No, dude, 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 this is it. This is it. This is a memory. This is how we started with Choshiro, with him flat on his back. Yeah, he just got up. He's, he's dead. No, he's fine. He's been dead all no, along. No, he's fine. He just got up. Because he, he just had a concussion and lost his memory. Because um, Yo Choshiro was a ghost this whole time. And then he was alive enough to stab us. Oh, nah. this is weird. Yeah. <laughs> ah. I understand now. I am dead. He has, like, no emotion at all. According to uh, Discworld, you get less emotional when you're a ghost because emotions are largely dependent on, like, chemical functions in your body. So when you don't have that as much... Mm-hmm. Like ghosts tend to not get as like angry, or they can't be as happy because they don't have serotonin or, going to their brain. Or it could be like a Japan thing. It could be a cultural thing because like in Japan, there's like the idea of like two selves, and it's like more culturally ingrained. So there's there's hone, hone or yeah, hone and tatamai, and hone is like what you really feel, and tatamai is like the feelings you show to other people. Tatamai huh. is like is like something in front of. That's interesting because in the lore of this game, they've been talking about the sun represents the outer like self and the moon it. represents the inner self. Yeah, and it sort of makes... And I, I honestly feel like the whole Hone Tatamai thing is really fucked up because it's what leads people to be super depressed because the idea is it's like not socially acceptable to like show certain emotions as you're like Tatamai to other yeah, people. Yeah, you gotta bury that down. Yeah, no, it's literally... <laughs> you gotta that... push that shit down. Yeah, that's not good. Um, exploring the cavern underneath Hybara Infirmary, where she and the other kidnapped girls were taken, Ruka discovers steps leading even deeper underground. Following them, she arrives at the stage where the Rogetz Kagura was performed, the place she was taken from ten years previously to become an organ in a separate ritual dance. Lost in her memories, Ruka sees her father, Soya. She follows him and finds herself at the Yomotsuki residence, the house where she was born. The house where she was born. So we're back with Ruka. We haven't... Eclipse. We haven't done anything with uh, Misaki. No. Well, what, where did we last leave Misaki? I, I don't remember. Is Misaki dead? I'm, like, trying to remember. Like, did something happen to her? Did she didn't die? Didn't she, like... Didn't she last get, like... Didn't she last... Wasn't she last in, like, the chamber where she... I don't know. When I get to editing that part, I'll know. I'm like... You put put the answer on screen. Yeah. Hey, future comic. Is Nusuke okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right yeah, of descent, yeah. lower. Okay. 
I'm not getting a lot of these incidental ghosts. Mask of Lunar Eclipse is complete. How did that not count? How dare you? Okay. Well, we got a lot of uh, blue spheres. Let me see what we can upgrade, if anything. Um. Because wasn't... Okay, I'm going to wait on that. want to improve either charging time or max power. Okay, we got one of these dealy boppers now, so... Cause like, Go through the door, show me what you want me to do. I thought Misaki was last seen down at the altar, right? And wasn't she with Sayaka, and didn't they, like... Weren't they, like, together, and then she just fell? Yes. Yeah, maybe she I did. I think she's dead. The mask has the same kind that of looks charm. Gross. I don't like that. Uh, stuck to it as the ones on the sliding door. Looks like someone put used toilet paper on the mask. <laughs> Gross. So I guess I'm looking for a mask such as that. Yeah, I guess I haven't uncovered a lot of this area yet. Well, no, this is a new area. Yeah. So, this is her house. Her yeah. Uchi. Yeah, where she lived with her crazy mask maker dad. Huh. I'm a mask maker and I'm a professional knitter. Our uh, our budget is three million dollars. <laughs> I keep imagining if we take off her dad's mask, he's gonna be like that guy from Majora's Mask. I thought you've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Ten spirit stones. It's Choshiro. Is it the shard of the lunar mask that you gave to Joshro? Okay, so that's that's the object in question. Hmm. Remove the charm from the mask. Oh. two Sayakas though there's like Sayak or, or is her mom the that would be pretty vessel. interesting if they're all yeah if but I thought is her mom the vessel because I thought Sayaka was the vessel but isn't that Sayaka also young at this point let me uh records notebook get some names here Sayaka Minazuki uh, my current client asked me to find her daughter, Ruka, and bring her okay. back safely. No, that's not the same one. Sickness has been evaded. Uh, Ruka. Ruka is who we are. Yeah. Um, Takashi Asagi. That's it? That was a girl. Yes, Yuko. Oh, no, no. It's Sakuya, not Sayaka. Oh, okay. It's Sakuya, which isn't on here. I don't know why. Wasn't... Sakia, I keep calling Sakia Sayaka. Is Yuka Yuko? Is Yuko Sakia though? Like wasn't there? No, like... Yuko is also Yuko's a guy. Because Yuko's a male name. Oh. Yeah. 
Yuko is, I think, the guy who is the drawler. He draws. He draws. He's the crazy guy. Stayed on the third floor for gets yeah. all progression. Yep. Okay. Um. Yes, yeah, Sayuka. Sayuka is, I, is like it was. I guess uh, she's not on here. It was her friend. Yeah, and that's the one who the crazy ghost lady is that chases us. Yeah. And I keep calling her Sayaka. Yeah, so she is a she different character than Sayaka. Yes. Everything's still black and white from talking to mom. Sayaka's standing. She's walking. You've returned. Nugget lately has had this thing where she does not like me being in here recording. She does not like... Is she afraid of the ghosts? She doesn't like not being in the same room as me. Mm. Yeah. Like, if I'm in the living room, she'll go to other rooms to sleep. But if I'm in a room with a closed door, she can't stand it. <laughs> Puppy. Rook in the garden. Rook in the garden. <laughs> Rook in Olive Garden. With unlimited fries and breadsticks. Olive Garden's Salad. pretty expensive now. I am a big fan of Italian food. I have never been that into Olive Garden. It's whatever. Yeah. We went to we went to an Italian place on I think it was on Shermersville that we really didn't like that much. Uh, know ye of the house of Yomo, uh, Yomotsuke. The purpose of the rite of descent is to reach the hallowed realm, being the path from the origin of souls and that which they walk when they return thereto. It is the moonlit sacred place. The portal of the hallowed realm is the mask of the Yomutsuki artisan being the mask of the lunar eclipse. Sorry, Nugget's distracting me. The mask of the lunar eclipse hath no form as it doth symbolize the moon being the form of the souls of the dead. And it may also be that mask which consumeth that moon. Deceased souls led by the moon don the mask and becoming void so becometh the living deceased. To see the hallowed realm is a dying, is as dying and becoming a spirit. Thus, the only way for the living to reach the hallowed realm is through the donning of the mask of the lunar eclipse. How accurate is that old English? Um, I mean, they're using it very sparingly, so I tend to think not super accurate. And it also just kind of confuses me that they're doing that at all, because this would be written in Japanese. Yes, so I think what they're trying to do is so, like, Japanese has changed a lot more than English has yeah. over the years. So, like, when I was over there, I remember I had one professor who was saying that, like, if you were to ask, a, 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 like, a current modern Japanese person to read something that was written 100 years ago, they probably just couldn't even read it at all. Yeah. It's that different. Because, like, so Japan th- underwent, like, major westernization only, like... Yeah, it, but just that the language has changed. Years ago and, yeah. Has changed a lot as a language, apparently. So I think they might have been trying to like present that this was all like written a long time ago. Yeah. I understand the intent of that, but in execution it reminds me kind of of Octopath Traveler when they like make up that dialogue. I hate on it. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot stand that character. I skipped all the dialogue in that character because of it. Uh, Saika and Ruka Piano. Uh, mother taught me this memory. I can uh, just about remember. Uh, oh, we're doing this. We're doing the piano again. This is like what? The, is this the second time we've done it, or is it the third? I think it's the third, but I've never actually had to do this part. It's a little annoying. According to the score, it should be, sound like this. So it's the two parts. The first part repeats once. L, Y. Oh, I didn't realize it would show me. Uh, no, that's not right. Well, I did it. No, you, you missed a couple. Of them. I had to do it with blue. the timing. Yeah.
Mercury scratched the door back. <laughs> oh, she'd hate it. I know this song. I've heard it before. Don't. She, yeah, she, you're going to drive her even crazier. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's like it was just trying to show me something. Old textbooks, notes. Was that under the bed it was showing me? It looked like a like hand mirror. Maybe it's probably like right on the ground then. Like right in front of the bed. Uh, oh, there's a, uh, another doll. Oh. Oh, cool. There it is. Stand on the right side of the table so that it can do the reaching animation the way it wants to. Oh, that's silly. It's a ghost hand anyway. Yeah. Because diary. Mommy told me something today. She said I was born from Mommy and Daddy, and Mommy and Daddy both had a Mommy and Daddy, too. It goes like that all the way back. Everybody is connected, and all those connections lead to me. All of those people died, but it's not sad because thanks to all of them, I'm here now. There were many connections that brought me here, so I'm a very special girl. And because it works the same for everyone else... They are all special boys and girls, too, so we should all be friends. I said that means Mommy is a special girl and Daddy is a special boy, too, so I'll be friends with them. She laughed when I said that. I'm really happy that Mommy and Daddy are connected. I'm happy that their connection will never go away. Never go away. Never go away. Here. Um, I, I'm looking straight at it. Come on. Come on, turn blue. It just doesn't want to. No. All right. I I don't care. We about don't have the dolls. all of them anyway, so there's no way. I really have. don't care about the dolls anymore. We miss so many of them. That yeah. Okay, so I know this is the right way because it's showing me something. Did the, did the door close behind me? Yeah, didn't you know you, they have all those uh, automatic sliding doors? Yeah, yeah, the automatic chojis. Uh, Type 90 film. We should buy better film when we get the chance. Yeah. Yeah, next time I get to a save point. Uh, there's a letter here. It's a letter from our friends. Dear Soya, I remember that you once expressed a great interest in a melody you heard me singing. I thought I would write to tell you more about it. Look at the shadow of my hand on the wall back there. <laughs> uh, oh, it's creepy. That melody is called the Moon Song. You may not have realized this, but I am a descendant of the Guardian Maidens. There are no longer any such maidens in existence, nor is their code still still followed. In fact, the old moon organ so is about creepy. the only remnant of them left on Regat's Isle. I had not intended to keep this a secret from you, but I had not but I had my reasons for not telling you about it as soon as we met. The Guardian Maidens are thought of as loners, never speaking to or having any association with others. I didn't have you to see me that way. I didn't want you to see me that way. Oh, there's eight pages of this. Yikes. Uh, the reason I am writing to you now is that I wanted you to know about my family's history before I cast off their name and join the House of Yamatsuki. 
As you know, the people of this island have always thought of the moon as representing the form of the soul. It is revered, it is revered as the place where from whence all souls come, and the place where they ultimately return. But the moon both waxes and wanes. The role of the guardian maidens is to play moon sounds in accordance with the face of the moon. <coughs> Losing my voice. Resonating with the protecting... Resonating with and protecting the souls of the people. According to the legends of the guardian maidens, everyone has a different moon sound. The mm. sound is very faint, but like the oscillation of a crystal, it stays the same their whole life. On their own, each of the moon sounds is faint and weak. This is why we were taught to resonate our songs together. If your moon sound and mine can resonate together for eternity, I will know no greater happiness. Sayaka Minazuki. Hmm. All right, so this is a love letter maybe between that's Rufus' that, parents. Maybe that's what that high high pitched noise is—the moon sound. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Totally could be. Uh, the door is being held shut by a powerful force. Okay. Um, the lock's broken. <laughs> okay, I see the filter going off. Is it? Is it that? Oh no, it's not a filter. Yeah, you can grab it, I think. Okay, remove the charm from the mask. I'm guessing there's three. That, that mask is creepy. Uh, the right of descent, the mask... Oh, he's actually saying that out loud. And the... There we go. I had like a panning shot that time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Oh, uh, max power up. Uh, we need... yes. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, so now that I got that, am I allowed to go through here? Nope. Denied. Other door? I guess this is the right one. Uh... Oh, okay, that's the mirror it was showing me in that one vision. Guardian's mirror. This is what was so important to her. I'm sure there was a display stand for this mirror. Uh, there's an ancient tome. The secrets of the Guardians. The moon song is passed down only in the line of the Guardians, being taught from one maiden to the next. Given to those that learn it, the Guardian's mirror... Learn it, the Guardian's mirror... So that if the song becometh lost to time or memory or be interrupted, they, reflecting the light of the moon in the mirror, may know it once more. I swear that's got to be a wrong answer. <laughs> so there's the, uh, the, the altar, right? Yeah. Which I think is over... I thought that was the only door out of here, though. No, it's a closet. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, that. So there's something else in this room that we need to interact with then. Yeah. I mean, I guess I appreciate that, that it's not letting me leave until I find everything. Yeah. That hand, doesn't make hand things easier. You, but yeah. Um, wasn't it? Uh... That's like a really common technique in Metroidvanias, too, of like... Locking you in. Yeah. So you don't get, like, completely lost. Yeah. I don't know where. Is that it? No. Oh. Yeah. Place the mirror in the display stand. The mirror reflects the moonlight onto the wall. Take a picture. It'll last longer. Take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. I'll take care of you. This is like some. This is like some, uh, what is it, sign of Metatron shit. <laughs> it seems to represent the faces of the moon. The moon song. Okay, I just wanted to see if anything happened if I took a picture. 
Now we can probably get through. Yep, now it's letting me leave. Ooh, is there a safe spot nearby? Uh, hopefully, because, yeah, it's going to be about that time. That time of year. That time of the day year. Time of the deer. I don't know. Um, I think we need to go back down the stairs. Okay. I think it's the other way. Plus. Or plus. Oh, plus goes right to the... Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> We're so far into the game. Oh, that's good to know. That's yeah. It's... It's I, I, so hard for me when we're doing Let's Plays where we, like, play it a bit once a week. Yeah, no, I get you. <clears throat> it's so easy to forget I've been pretty good like about that. using the map button this time, but of late I have not. Like, before, I should say, I have not. Of late, I have been good. Yeah, nobody, nobody's really talking about it in this one, but I know in CrossCode I drive people crazy with some of the mechanics that I forget. <laughs> How do I attack again? See there? And they're like, why aren't you using something something? And I'm like, I forgot I know, that was a thing I could do. I don't know, man. I don't remember. Um, why is there something I can open here? I can examine. Peeling mask is enshrined in the altar. Small mortuary tablets sit on either side of it. Okay. Cool. There's got to be like a lantern somewhere nearby, right? Yeah, let me check again now that we're downstairs. Yep. Okay, we're going to beeline for that lantern to the right and down to the hallway. Yes, yeah, like left behind you. Yeah. Yeah. Now, why don't you know this is exactly when the game throws its final boss out? <laughs> I'm just imagining characters in this game trying to fight something Sephiroth like Sephiroth. just comes out. Yeah. Dun, 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 oh, let dun, me take a picture dun, dun, of him. Dun, dun. Oh, wow, look up. Forgot your camera. Oh, we have more things on it now. So our max power has indeed increased. Okay. Oh. He, he missed. <laughs> Oh, he teleported. Yeah, he, he thinks he's sly. Yeah, because it started off as two, and then it went to, like, what, four, and now it's at eight, I think. Yeah. So there's another one, so it might be at, like, go up to 16. I think it's going to be eight for phases of the moon. Well, that's what we said about the chapters, and that's not true. That's true. And then 32, and then it'll be 64. Binary. Okay. Sorry, I really just kind of want to kill this guy. I know. Him. I'm like not in the mood for you, dude. You still got a lot of health, though. Oh yeah, I forgot I can see their health now. Use higher, uh, use higher magic, um, magic mist film. Yeah, I guess I might as well. Uh, you can use left and right on the D-pad to change it while you have the camera up, too. Oh, I always forget that. Yeah. Don't use the zero, but... No. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I'm guessing it's supposed to be, like, type 100. Yeah. Uh, that post is, like, being really annoying. It's actually not degrading as fast when he slips out of it. That's good. You're also not falling as off of him, so he's like not like going as far away. If that makes sense. The other one. The other one's also slipped fully off. There's the lantern that we're looking for. Yeah. Okay, let me just to make sure. Hop off. I don't die because I'm going to be upset if I die. Yeah, 
There we go. Blue shot, shutter chain. I knew he was low on health, so I just went nice. for it. You got him. All right. Well, with the Hammer Brother defeated, <laughs> we are going to call it there for the night. I'm Comic. Um, Pat. And, um, yeah, I think in the next episode or so, we might be done. I think we're closing in on an ending here. Yeah, we're getting close. All right. See yous. Bye-bye.